Hello creatives, I'm just pumping out these videos in mass today. Um, but yesterday I talked about how to know how to budget for your book launch. Today I'm talking about who needs to be on your team, or at least who you should consider to be on your team relative to how comfortable you are with certain tasks and project management and like things. Um, I like first and foremost something that is absolutely necessary is having a good editor on your on your team building up a relationship with an editor would be ideal I'm in the process of finding that editor myself and um, it's been a process but I'll get there um, and I need it because I know that as an author, as a writer, I have multiple books in me, not just in the Vicious Circle series, which you can check out below. The landing page is ready. The rest of the website will be ready once the book cover is ready, which I'm hoping to have the book cover ready in March to reveal. That'd be cool. Um, definitely you need to have an editor in your corner, preferably one that you can work with long term, but I know that takes time to find one that you vibe with and who can, who understands the work and who understands the vision while also still being very honest in what you need to improve. Um, yeah. So uh, not just like one editor, um, because typically there's different types of editors that are involved in the book launch process um there's a there's like a, a developmental editor there's a copy editor like I, those are the two that i'm trying to find and work with um and then i can do my own typesetting i have the skills to do so um but you might want to find someone who can typeset which is separate from an editor but something you might want to consider if you don't have the time or the patience to figure out how to typeset the book yourself um, in Adobe or in whatever alternative. And you definitely should hire a graphic designer. And um, what's really frustrating is that the book industry woefully underpays graphic designers. Like literally any other, any other product marketing design thing like for any other industry, the, the book cover designers, if they switched from designing book products to designing some other like consumer packaged goods or like whatever, they would get paid bank because the publishing industry doesn't value graphic design. Um, you should be paying them their worth, like just pay them their worth. If they're fresh out of college and they're, they're it's a portfolio piece, still pay them a couple hundred dollars, please. Because it takes time. It takes a lot of time to do that, um, to do all the effort. Um, I have a graphic design friend who's working in my book. I'm going to pay her what she is worth. Um, and yeah. So you need a graphic designer because there's genre conventions, there's marketing psychology attached to a book cover, you have like less than five seconds to grab the attention of a reader. There's lots of things that need to be conveyed in that book cover in those five seconds. The genre, the mood, the tone, the an idea of what they can expect. Like if there's like symbolism on the cover, like they can expect like, oh, this has meaning within the book itself. Um, yeah, which it can't be done on Canva, not really. If you have a graphic design background and you have the time and the skills to learn graphic design, have at it, more power to you. I do not. Um, I'm going to hire someone to do that. And I don't, and I'm not gonna use Canva because, and this is partly because of sci-fi, like I have a young adult sci-fi book there the covers tend to be layered and textured um that can't be achieved on canva um there are certain genres that you can probably really get away with doing a canva cover um 
like nonfiction, self-help, um, stuff like that. Or if you're doing like a text only cover, uh, there that can be executed well on Canva if you have like Canva Pro or something. Um, but for most fiction novels, especially young adult fiction, you really need to hire a graphic designer. Um, and that just covers like actually making the book. The, the whole PR marketing thing, um, there's a couple different ways you can go about this. A couple different avenues that y you can consider when it comes to putting someone for PR and marketing on your team. Um, you can hire a coach or a consultant to walk you through and like on how to walk you through on how to do it yourself, which I can offer that service if you want. Um, my advice, my one-on-one -on -one coaching, my consulting on your book, or maybe you're a small indie publisher watching this and you want help with your other author's projects, hit me up. I'm here for that. Um, so that is one avenue you can go for, is the, the coach consulting route, who can show you the strategy, walk you through the steps, that sort of thing, um, which is... Uh, may or may not be cheaper than hiring someone to do it, but the difference is is that they should be able to teach you how to fish, so to speak. Um, hiring a coach and consultant may or may not be cheaper than hiring someone to do it for you, but it will teach you how to do it yourself. So if you are someone who wants to know how to do all the things yourself and at present don't have the knowledge and are a little bit overwhelmed with where to start, hire a coach and consultant to teach you how to fish. And then that way, for the next book, you know how to do all the things and you have the materials, like the strategy and the, the know-how from the previous book to be able to do, apply it to the next book. Um, if you are someone who just absolutely does not have the time or the energy, um, but has the money to hire someone to do it for you by all means hire someone to do it for you um, I can help out with that too depending on the task and um, so feel free to inquire about that as well for retainer services um, even within that what you want to look for in a coach or consultant is someone who is a generalist like me, I'm a generalist. I have had a wide variety of experiences across both public relations and marketing. I've done Google ads, I've done media relations, I've done social media marketing, I've done Pinterest ads, I've done email, email marketing, and I've made physical marketing collateral. Like I, ha I, I can do graph design, just not to the degree that would ne be needed for uh, a book cover. Um, because I do more, a lot more promotional stuff. Like I can make flyers, I can make brochures, I can do that sort of thing. No problem. Um, yeah. If you are looking for a, someone to do it for you, you want the opposite. You want a specialist, um, like a, a specialist in those things. And while I have operated as a generalist, I can, like, my background is in PR. I'm a member of the PRSA New York City chapter. I um, am a marketing strategist for my day job. Like, I can narrow down and focus on those things. They're within my wheelhouse of specialties. I'm a generalist, but there's a handful of specialties that I have. Um, so, if you're looking for someone to do it for you, you will want to make sure that they have credentials, industry-related credentials, they have ex experience, you want to ask them lots of questions about their experience and um, the types of books and authors that they have worked with. Can they provide examples? Um, 
that sort of thing. Ask a lot of questions so you don't get screwed. Um, yeah, so that is essentially it. Um, I've, I've talked a lot and I've kind of forgotten what all I have talked about and that is my cue to sign off. So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions you'd like me to go on a deeper dive to and uh, until next time.